want to avoid costly pump failures that can stop your operations. Pump failures can drain your time and money fast. Identifying common issues like cavitation, seal leaks, or bearing where early helps prevent unexpected breakdowns, reduces downtime, and extends equipment life. Ignoring these problems. That can mean complete pump failure, expensive repairs, and major productivity losses. Understanding these failures means faster troubleshooting, better system reliability, and smoother operations. Stay tuned to learn how to protect your equipment and work smart. Watch till the end to discover the top 5 most common pump failures, and how to recognize and prevent them. Is your condenser pump noisy or losing efficiency? It might be cavitation a costly issue that damages equipment. Causes Cavitation happens when low suction pressure causes water to vaporize into bubbles. Common triggers include high suction lift, clogged filters or strainers, undersized suction lines, or running the pump outside its design range. Symptoms Look out for grinding or popping noises, vibrations, reduced efficiency, or damaged impellers and seals. Prevention Monitor suction pressure, keep filters and suction lines clean, maintain proper suction head, and operate within the pump's design limits. Use anti-cavitation impellers if needed. Repair Replace damaged impellers or seals and address system design flaws to prevent recurrence. Why is your shaft seal leaking? Here's what you need to know. A leaking shaft seal can spell disaster for your equipment, leading to fluid loss, contamination, and costly downtime. The main causes Worn out seals, misalignment, excessive pressure, heat damage, or improper installation. The effects Equipment failure, reduced efficiency, and even safety hazards. How to prevent and repair Regular inspections help catch wear and tear early. Proper installation ensures the correct fit and lubrication. Alignment checks prevent undue stress on the seal. Replacing damaged seals before they fail avoids major breakdowns. Don't ignore that leak, fix it before it gets worse. Is your pump overheating and costing you time and money? Here's why it happens and how to fix it. Pump overheating is caused by issues like poor lubrication, cavitation, restricted flow, overloading, and electrical faults. This leads to damage, inefficiency, and even motor failure. To prevent it, inspect and lubricate regularly, maintain proper flow, align shafts, and ensure good ventilation. Routine maintenance is key to efficiency and longevity. Did you know that excessive pump vibration can lead to catastrophic failures if left unchecked? Pump vibration often stems from misalignment, imbalance, cavitation, or worn bearings. If ignored, it can damage critical components like shafts, seals, bearings, and impellers. Regular maintenance, vibration monitoring, and precision alignment can help you catch issues early, before minor vibrations become major headaches. This one mistake can destroy your pump in seconds. Dry running is the silent killer of centrifugal pumps. Without liquid, friction and heat skyrocket damaging seals, bearings and impellers. Cause, no fluid means no cooling or lubrication. Effect, overheating wear and total pump failure. Prevention, always ensure proper fluid levels, install dry run sensors, and perform regular maintenance. Troubleshooting, check suction lines, inspect seals, and listen for unusual noises. Work smart, protect your equipment. Like, share and subscribe for more engineering insights.